We hope that during this class, you'll learn to think about how incentives matter, how, about how to follow the money, because that's what typical greedy people do. They act to do things that are in their own self-interest and try to avoid things that aren't in their self-interest. So the first thing that we want you to think about is how self-interest plays a role in our everyday economy, whether it's a market economy or even in a communist economy. Any kind of economy is di dictated by self-interest. And human beings, they're interested in themselves. And that's really, in large part, what economics is about. And then to use those principles to think about public policy issues, but in particular environmental issues, to think about them analytically. What you th see on television and other places about the environment is very thin, without a lot of substance. It's about good guys and bad guys. And so what I want you to think about is not a world of good guys and bad guys, but a world where people respond to their incentives. And how the goal of policy is to create incentives to maximize the wealth of society. Not only the physical wealth and the money wealth, but also the value of our environmental goods. Well, in many ways, this course is a beginning, not an end. That so, if you just take one course in economics or really any other field, a few months, a few years later, it's hard to think about anything that applies. As an undergraduate, I had to take a course in Eastern religions. Trust me, I don't remember anything at all from it. So um, we hope that in the course of study in energy, business, and policy, in the course of our undergraduate major, we will reinforce the lessons that are taught here and really help our students become energy professionals. And perhaps more importantly, just to get a better understanding of what goes on in the world and why things happen, at least from an economic point of view. I view economics as a lens, a way of seeing things in the world. It's the way I see things. It's the way I'm best at seeing things. There are other ways of seeing things, of course. But for me, it really helps me understand a lot of what's going on.